I, the problem got so severe, I couldn't keep anything on my stomach. I lost a lot of weight. I also developed a rash after I came back from Vietnam that I didn't have before I went. So when I came back from Vietnam, this rash wouldn't go away. I went over to my mother's house, and I asked her to take a look at the rash. Uh, that it was, uh, I was told it was jungle rot. As soon as she saw it, she says, that's not jungle rot. You talked to uh, one veteran, and it, he's got the same things that uh, wrong with him that you've got wrong with you. All those things are it's not coincidental. It had to come from somewhere. He might be from New York and me from South Georgia. The only thing we had in common was when we were in Vietnam. Well, the United States, in the process of entering into Vietnam, became aware of the problem of ambush and the inability to detect enemy presence in Vietnam. And as a result, uh, techniques were developed for detection. One opportunity for doing that was to examine the utilization of herbicides for defoliation. There is no longer any question that the chemical companies knew as early as 1962 that their 245T was contaminated and the material they sold the government was contaminated with dioxin, one of the most toxic substances known to man. Uh, in terms of Dow's knowledge, uh, we identified and determined analytical methods for this in 1964. Although we were aware of the existence of some impurity that could cause acnogenic problems when we started producing in 1950. I remember very clearly when I got a call from the White House saying, we don't think it's the 245T itself. We've got some new information. Dow tells us that there's something in it called dioxin and that that may be the culprit. By culprit, I mean responsible in the bionetics tests that were done at the time which showed that it caused birth defects and stillbirths and abortions in rats and mice. The uh, doctor said she had like uh, 12 spleens, as many as 12, but they were like seed warts. Well, the doctor told us we were going through such trauma with that to get for the wife to get pregnant again as soon as possible. So we did. Three months later, she was pregnant. When this one was born, she was born with a heart condition. But the first one from before I went to Vietnam, she was perfectly normal. So now when I realized that uh, Carrie's arm didn't have to be malformed, when I realized that uh, her intestines could have been whole, when I realized that she didn't have to go through open heart surgery, now I had to look at the 22 birth defects in my child and realize that my own government could have done this to me. Now I realized that uh, corporate America, that for the love of the almighty dollar, had uh, Sacrifice my child. Looking over my shoulder. Hey, behind every tree. I got bad paranoia. Everything is trying.